Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have an interesting one, as we have a freeman of the land in the UK running the United States sovereign citizen script with highly predictable results. So let's begin. Could you identify yourself, please? Sorry? Could you identify yourself? Yeah, PC Brown, Metropolitan Police Service, 3152 Tango. Thank you. Hello, brother, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, fine, thank you. 3079 Northwest, yeah. Thank you. 2921 Northwest. Thank you. Of course, you've got LED. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Could you take your mask off, please, and identify yourself? No, I'm sick. I'm not taking my mask off. Okay, you're going to identify hey, yourself? You I don't have to, you can see my shoulder numbers. Excuse Sorry? Me, you can see my shoulder numbers. Anyway, uh, this is road legal. Yeah, the reason why you've been stopped is because you're riding a mechanical propelled vehicle on a public road, alright, you're not displaying licence plates, um, and clearly that's not, you've not got insurance to ride that on the road, and that's why we've stopped you, okay? Do you have your driving licence on you, and do you have proof of insurance if you have indeed insured it? Why do I need any of that? Because that's a mechanically propelled vehicle and you were riding it on the public highway, so that's why you need it. That's not a reason. Yes, it is. I can stop you under section 165 of the road track. I... No, I'm free to travel. I have my right to travel, uninhibited by anybody, and it's even said so in my passport. Yup. The American Sovsit virus has officially spread to the UK because this is literally the same exact stupid argument that the American Sovtards use. A passport is used for international travel, not domestic. And it doesn't matter if you're an Englishman or an American, you don't need a passport to travel freely within the borders of your country. And even if you do have a passport, you still need a driver's license to do so freely in a motorized vehicle. Right, sir, so you are riding, okay, a mechanically propelled vehicle on a public highway, okay, you don't have any license plates displayed, you don't have any L plates displayed, okay, I can stop you on the public road and I can request your <coughs> driving license. If Am you I? do not produce your driving license, okay, Am I, a man? I can and I will arrest you. Am All I right? a man? Sorry? Am I a man? Are you what? A man. I don't know, do you identify as a man? Yes. Do I look like a man? Well, that's up to you, sir. Okay, if you identify as a man, you no, identify it, as a man. I'm asking me. for your driving license, sir. It's your perception that counts in this case. Would you say I'm a man? No. By my perception, you are not a man. You are a petulant toddler with a paint chip addiction. The codes that you are purporting to practice, does it refer to, apply to a man or a person? I don't get what do you mean by does it apply to a man or a person? Do you know what a person is? Do I know what what is? A person is. A person is? Well, I would identify a person as a human being, like myself. No, that's not a person. Alright, so besides the point, do you have your driving license on you? It doesn't apply to me, I'm not a person. Hey, troglodytes are persons too. So, do you have a driving license? Why would I have something that I don't need? So, okay, I'm trying to be reasonable with you. Hand over your driving license, we can check, okay, <coughs> that you've got a driving license, you've got insurance, and then we can be on your way, all right? If you don't do that, then we have to escalate things and take it further by arresting you and taking you into custody. I don't if want you, to do that. If you touch my private property, or me, I'll be taking actions for redress, for correction, for interfering with something that you have nothing to do with. It's this is strictly private property. Not. Now you'd have an argument if your private property was on your private property. But once you started driving on the public roadways, you subjected your private property to public rules and regulations, as well as the consequences for not following them. And I'm conducting my private business. That's a mechanically propelled vehicle. I didn't and invite... under the Road Traffic Act, you're riding on a public highway. You need to be fully insured. You need a driving license. All right. If you don't have those things, you're committing offences that have to be dealt with. So I am asking you, all right, do you have a driving license? I don't need any of those to travel. No, you do need a driving license. I don't need a driving license to travel. If you vehicle on a public road, okay, you need a driving license, okay? Whether you like it or not, you need one, okay? 
okay. there's no life People or dislike that comes and into it. Consensus. It's not your individual consent. It's I have not, not, and I haven't consented. Doesn't matter. It, it does matter. Consentence. All it does contract matter. need the consensus. contracting party's signature of consent. Right. Have you got your And they must license? have full cognitive comprehension of what they're signing to. Trying to incorrectly apply contract law in the UK is just as ineffective as trying to apply the UCC in America. Where is the contract that you're purporting that I've broken and you're not making a claim? Do Where you is have it? a driving license? Where is the contract? Do you have a driving license? Where is the contract? So I'll ask you one more time before I arrest you for committing offences. You are a company that is trading for profit Registered with Dun and Bradstreet and companies as just like McDonald's, Kentucky, or Asda. Well, what I'm right? Asda and I'm not KFC right, so, and I'm yeah. not McDonald's. Because okay. you've got your own unique company registration number. And I've served papers to your chief superintendent informing him of my position that I'm a traveller and you lot should interfere with my private travel. Do you have a driving license? I guess you didn't get the memo. Do you have a driving license? No, interfere with my property, and it's warning here that you interfere with my property. You are conditionally accepting for me to sue each and every one of you for my private property. Why is explaining? Do you understand why you explained? Yeah. I don't understand anything the police put forward, but I'm telling you that's my private property, and it's got nothing to do with any of them. You can make your claim and do what you want, bring out your buttons and your truncheon, but at the end, when it goes to court, it's my property. Yeah, fair enough. They have no interest in it, the, the, or the use, or the intent that I intend to use it for. The point that my colleague is making is that this is a mechanical proper um, device, yeah? I don't care what you want to call it, this but is my you, private property. Yes, fair enough, we, have, we know that, but to drive this kind of... Uh, I'm not of, driving. To ride? I'm not riding, I'm travelling. Yes, you're travelling, of course, but you're using the highway. And you need, you need to be licensed. It's my highway to use. It's my highway to use. Yeah, but no, it is not your highway. You did not build that highway. And you do not have free reign over who, how, and when that highway is being used. Not to mention, your entire argument falls apart when you replace your tiny little motorcycle with a biplane. I mean, I didn't contract with the government to only use the public roadways for cars. So why should I not be able to put the entire public in danger by using the highway as a landing strip? You see, there are rules and regulations for a reason, and you're currently dealing with the consequences of not following them whether you signed a contract or not. No, the people who, who give the regulation, I give them authority, oh, they can use it. Not them come and tell me, I've you've got seen, it the I've wrong seen, way around. I've seen, uh, I know why you're talking about, I've seen, I've seen why you're talking about. But the fact of the matter is that the law says that when you... It's not a law, it, it's codes, it's practices. Only God made law and law are infallible, you can't change them. The laws of nature, you can't change that. What goes up must come down the car. But you now, you can make your local rules and regulation, yeah. which can be changed at any time. That's not a law, that's a code. Yeah. If you go into Kentucky, they've got their local rules and regulation. Mm -hmm. You're going to McDonald's. I what you you mean. as another organization, you've got your... I'm not a member of your organization. I've never signed up to your organization. Anything you purport to do, it's got nothing to do with me unless I invite you. Yeah, but we police uh, the country and London more um, precisely and it says our regulation says to be using the road uh, and when you're using a mechanical proper vehicle you need to be licensed no not me a person needs to be licensed a person is a corporation so what are you? I'm a man created by God the only authority Just above like me is God. Place. And that's nice of you to bring that up. Because while I'm not really a religious man, I do love answering this question with a little bit of heavenly irony. Romans 13.1 basically says that you should obey the law of the land because any government that is installed in that land is only done so by the grace of God. So defying the government is tantamount to defying God himself. Made by God, you cannot be the same thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've read and I understand what you're talking about. But okay. The fact of the matter is, you know, make it make things easy. That's the that's the law. Listen. The law. Do you have a driver's license? Listen, I've got no driving license to give you. Okay. I've got no insurance to give you. Mm -hmm. I don't need them. I'm a private traveller. I take responsibility for my action. If I cause any harm, injury or loss, 
and it's reported and I'm responsible, I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Now, has anyone reported my causing them harm, injury or loss since this morning? I do not know. Okay, has anyone indicated that I've caused any problems? So why are you interfering with my trouble? Because we have certain laws and directives to follow and that's why we stop you. Which applies to persons. You look in all your codes, it never says a man or a woman. It's always a person this and a person that. And I've served papers and all your officials to let them know I'm not a person, I'm a living man. Um, what reply did you get from these people? They consented that I'm a living man. Okay. And, and I've got the paperwork in my house to prove it. Do you have it downloaded on your phone or something? It's not downloaded, it's files that I've sent out to all these people and to the chief inspectors and the police and uh, the courts, uh, the treasury, the queen, the, dry, the um, DVLA, all of them have sent this paperwork. And what have they said? They've consented that they've got no authority in my trouble. Yeah, okay. I'm sure the last thing the Queen did on her deathbed was acknowledge your right to not have to follow the same laws as everyone else in your country follows. Please, Birmingham City Council, I've got uh, communication of them. I'm in communication with uh, London Police and I'm in communication with the Metro Metropolitan Bar of Police as well. I've sent them information, they've replied to me and I've got it in my files back at my place. You've got no right to be interfered with my trouble. Yeah, now, you stopped before? Yes, and I've and I've been troubling without it. And what, they, what did they say? What the officers? Oh, we let you go this time, but next time we love you. There's no next time. Either I'm right or I'm wrong. And because I'm right, and I've got no authority to interfere with my private property and my use of it, they make an excuse and they leave. That's it. So, you now. You decide whether you want to invite trouble on yourself for me to sue, not just all of you personally, but your chief commander for him not instructing you not to interfere with my right to travel. So it's up to you. Let me go on my way or press the charges and do what you want. Steal my property, take me away like they used to do in slavery. But today you're not going to get away with it. Or you're going to let me go really on my way to continue my trouble. Playing the fuck around and find out game in the UK is much different than it is in the US. We in the US have a tendency to take your car, put it in storage, and then release it to you when you finally have enough money to get it back. In the UK, however, they do it a bit differently. They just smash your shit in a compactor and you can buy yourself a new one when you can learn to follow the rules. It is police. No. came from slavery when they used to run down the slaves that uh, and bring them back. You are here on a corporate trip to suppress men and women no, and no, steal no. money from them oh, on the guise of there's a regulation and who made your regulation? What's it got to do with me? No. You can make as much as you want. That, I ain't paying a penny. A police is a, no. imagine, you are there supposed to be looking after the people but yet you are profit making organ. Or do you make profits? What do you do to make profits? Mm -hmm. This you stop innocent people and steal from them. Under the guise of some other wrote some regulation that has got nothing to do with me. It has to do with you the moment you took your private property into the public domain. And you agree to deal with this at the roadside where we prosecute you for riding otherwise in accordance with license, not insurance, all right, or we arrest you and we deal with it in custody at Wembley Police Station. And that means you get into a cell, sitting there until we're ready to interview and all that sort of stuff. The choice is yours, all right? Unfortunately, you can sit and say you're a free man, all the rest of it, whatever you want to say, but that's not going to get you out of this situation. So, are you going to produce your driving licence or are you not? Are you going to answer my question? I'm not answering your questions anymore. You're my servant. You're uh, supposed no, to answer my question. Servant. I'm far from your servant. Are you not right? public servants? I'm not your servant, OK? I'm not you're not a public servant? servant? I didn't I say personal. You no, are no, no, my no. public servant to keep the peace. Right, are you going to produce your driving licence or not? I've got no driving licence to give you. Do you need any of the keys off of you? Yes, I need all of them. Which ones would you like to take? All of them. Do you want me to just take the bike keys? No, I don't want to take any. Sorry? I don't want you to take any. You don't want like to take any? No. Oh, well, I'm going to have to. Uh, so you're going to steal my property without my permission? I'm recording it, by the way. Well, that's alright, I'm not stealing anything, I'm taking the keys so that we can... Uh... You're denying me the use of my property, that's theft. 
you've thought about it and you decided to do it anyway, that's theft. And there's me without my property and the use of theft. Quite right, I'm here at home. You want to arrest those as well? Do you want those keys? Arrest an inanimate object. Well, he's doing it, isn't he? Is there anything you want to take off it? Is there anything that you want to take off it before we take it? Everything. I want to take everything off it and take it home. So you're taking my property yeah. and I'm doing a conditional acceptance that you can take that mm -hmm. on the basis that you pay me £5,000 a day each and every day until it's returned. Oh, that's cute. You think they're going to pay you for the pleasure of crushing your car. Exactly how many crayons do I have to conditionally accept into my mouth to be as delusional as you are? £5,000 a day until my property is returned. That's my conditional acceptance. Sorry, um, who did you say you were? I'm acting Sergeant James Special. And, and who is this? This is uh, one of my colleagues. Can you identify yourself, please? You're here at the scene. I've already been here. Is it you that's in? Oh, he's the funny one. The high angle view he doesn't want to give his information. Tell him he's a public servant, and when the public asks, he should volunteer that information. Well, he's got his uh, child numbers displayed, that's the main thing. No, when he's asked, he's supposed to reply and say it. Suppose the person can't read. Projection much? Here are still in my property. And they're unlawful. I've been told in case that your property doesn't, it's, it's uninsured. I don't need insurance to travel. I have a right to travel unimpeded without insurance. I don't need to pay tax. I don't care what it is, it's my private property and nobody has a right to my private property. Okay. And I've sent some papers to your chief police officer hmm. for him to amend the record so this stuff doesn't happen again. Okay. Uh, Birmingham have accepted and changed the record. London Metropolitan Borough and uh, London police I mean negotiated for them to correct the record so this does nothing again mm. I'm not a person I'm a living man all the codes you're purporting to apply they're for persons mm. so I'm in a different jurisdiction and you're crossing now to interfere with a living man and I'll be seeking redress in the high court plus the £5,000 a day fee until my private property is returned. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. The new King of England better get this settled before that $5,000 a day breaks the monarchy's treasury. Or maybe the next time this guy sees his car, it'll be in the shape of a cube. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic. And I'm out.